Spencer Lewis here with Brandon Watts, and we're talking about the upcoming uh, Border War 7-Up 150 at Toledo Speedway for the Arca CRA uh, Super Series. And Brandon, we haven't spoken since Florida, my friend, since New Smyrna Speedway. Coming out of the World Series, tell me a little bit about the long ride home. Did you guys feel as though you, you would accomplish what you set out to do down in Florida? Uh, it was definitely a good finish for us. Um, we got up to a rocky start. Um, we've, only, we've only been in that car a few times, getting used to it still. So I think, um, I think we made some good progress at Florida. Um, made a few adjustments uh, since, uh, since Florida, trying to get a car better and tweaking it a bit more. So like I said, I think the third place finish um, on the last race was a good start to our season. And obviously I know that the, you know, you, you'd known Bruce Gallon, your, your father had raced against Bruce Gallon. So it, it, it meant a lot, I'm sure, to get the podium finish at the Bruce Gallon Memorial in New Smyrna. And you had mentioned down in Florida that you weren't really going to chase points anywhere this season. You just sort of go where the wind takes you. What is the, the very loose plan right now for the 2014 season? Um, we're going to start off uh, next weekend in Toledo. Um, we're going to try and run uh, as many CR races as we can. We're going to start off running the first few, see how it goes. Um, hopefully get some good finishes and uh, I mean, some, uh, hopefully get sponsored here soon. Hopefully help us out um, to get, so we can race uh, more more races. But we're... Um, we're doing a few races here, a couple races on Sunset. We'll be at the, the May 10th race here, the Pro Late. Um, we're just going to try and get some big events in the States, uh, like a couple of 300 lap. We're going to an Anderson, which will uh, be a big challenge for us. A lot of, a lot of competition down there. So we're going we're gonna to try our hand down there as many races as we can. So it's safe to say that, you, that your result at Toledo will probably have a, a lot of bearing on, on what you do next. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll definitely have to um, try, and, uh, try and be up there at the front. Um, it all depend how we do. To I think we're planning on going the first few races, see how they go. Hopefully, hopefully they'll do good, and hopefully we can race more of them. Now I know that you you've worked hand in hand with Brian McDonald since he came back to Ontario and, and sort of set up shop back here, and he's done some great things for your program. What what sort of role does Brian play in in your operation? Uh, Brian's just uh, an all around. Uh, he does everything for us. Um, he's uh, great at the shocks. He's always that's how we got uh, got to know him. We a couple years ago uh, we took a car down to get reclipped there. So he's been uh, he's been a good help to us. Um, uh, a lot of times uh, making adjustments, helping me on tracks that I haven't been to. He's, uh, he's been uh, down in the States a while, so he's, uh, he's used to down there, and he helps me out a lot down there. Now, I know with Brian's help and, and with your driving talent, you had a great run at, uh, at New Smyrna. Worked, uh, y you two both sort of put your heads together to find the, the setup that you needed down at New Smyrna, and I know that uh, you had a solid finish, but you're a perfectionist. Have you, did you bring the car home and, and go over it to, to get it ready for Toledo? Have you made many changes to it? Uh, we made a few adjustments here and there, um, some stuff that, uh, just trying to get uh, more grip off, stuff like that. We're trying to work work from uh, New Smyrna. We had, a, we had a good car, I think, at the end. Um, still uh, still like the car to turn better and get more grip off. So we've been, we've been trying some other stuff. Uh, Brian's been uh, giving us some good ideas and stuff like that. So we're, um, like I said, we're, we made a few adjustments from Florida, and hopefully it helps out in, uh, at the race coming up. Now, when you look at the footprint of New Smyrna next to Toledo, the two tracks are, are not they're, they're not terribly different from one another. Are you going to have to drive it completely different, though? Um, it's I'm not sure. It's uh, it's been a couple of years since I've been to Toledo, so I'm not I'm not um, completely um, I don't completely remember what it's like. But memory's a little fuzzy, yeah. is what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. So um, I think uh, it's going to be like same as all the tracks that we're going to have to go to down there. I'm going to have to get used to some um, pretty quick. Uh, we got practice on the Friday, so hopefully we'll get used to it. Um, it'll hopefully. Uh, I think it's, like they said, similar to New Smyrna, so hopefully it'll be a quick transition for me. Now, it's 150 laps. It, it, it sort of falls in between. It's not a sprint, and it's not an endurance race. I mean, certainly no 300 lap or like you're going to get uh, at the Red Bud when you go to Anderson. What sort of strategy are you going to have to imply here to, to make sure that you're at the front when it counts at the end? It's definitely, uh, definitely got to have a good qualifying spot. Um, that'll definitely help us out uh, starting up near the front, staying out of, staying out of some trouble. Got to, got to do that, too, keep the bumper clean. Um, it isn't. It isn't a really long race, but it's not a short race, and it can change really quick uh, with an accident. So, I've got to try and be up to front, I think, and um, not waste too much time. But as long as we're in there in the last 50 laps or something like that, that's when uh, that's when we got to go. Now, you you have a fourth place finish under your belt at the Glassbreaker back when this event was part of the ASA North Tour. That was in a crate late model. This obviously in a super late model. Is it? Is it, are the two just completely different animals? That there's not a whole lot that you can dwell on your on your 2000, 2007 run and apply it to uh, to this weekend. Um, I think it would definitely helps out. Um, there's there's not a huge difference between the car, like their motor motor wise there is, but um, one or the other. I think uh, I think I'm I have a pretty good track record. Uh, we got a fourth there. It was my first time there, so I'm hoping we can uh, pull another top five finish out of it. Now, obviously, 
this event pits the, the, the ASA Midwest Tour up against the CRA Super Series, and you've got some independents that sort of come out for it, guys like Donnie Wilson and, uh, and the like that sort of come out for a big event, big event like this. I know you took a look down the entry list. Who are some of the guys you're really going to need to look out for that you know are going to be fast at Toledo? Um, from what I have to go by, I just have to go by guys that I raced against. So I raced a couple, like Eddie Hoffman, uh, Chad Finley, Cody Coughlin. Raced all them a few years ago in the JAG series. Um, they're always tough, tough competition. Uh, I see guys like Brian Campbell, who's always good. Um, um, there's, and there's a, there's a bunch of guys I haven't raced against, so I'm not sure what, uh, what I'm going to have to go up against, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to be some tough competition down there. Yeah, a lot of good talent coming out of, out of Minnesota, Wisconsin. The ASA Midwest guys are, are they're, they're a scrappy bunch, and they're, they're weekly racers, much like yourself. When you compare the type of competition you get in Ontario and just the, the culture of racing here to the way it is in the Midwest, is it, is it two completely different animals? I think I think it is. Um, there is there is a lot more competition on there. A lot more uh, money put into the sport. Um, they have a like everybody's just got a bigger team, stuff like that. Um, they put a lot, I think, more into racing than, than we do down here. Um, it's kind of fortunate, but uh, it's good. It's definitely a big change going down to the states from here. Now I know it's not possible to go on any of these trips without the, the proper amount of marketing support. Go ahead and thank the folks that are going to make this weekend possible for you. Yeah, of course. I like to thank Rose Sherbeting, Sheer Metal Products, Fairy Frame Alignment, Nightworks Design. Always, uh, they ride my car again. Looks amazing. And um, Slip Guy Energy for Exchange. And if you're watching this on video right now, we just launched the brand new Brandon Watson Racing Facebook page. I think we're coming up on 300 likes already. Hasn't even been a week yet, so make sure you go out and check that out and follow him on Twitter at BrandonWatson15. Brandon, thanks so much for the time, my friend. We will be following up with you all through the weekend at Toledo. Safe trip down there, and uh, we'll be make sure to uh, we'll, we'll pop back in with you Saturday morning. Thank you.